what was promised to the Dutch troops was a significant close air support uh, to be given within two hours after a Serb attack. That promise was made by the United Nations Secretary General Boutos Ghali in January 1994. Uh, when the Serb attack started in the beginning of July 1995, uh, the Dutch commander of the UN troops in Srebrenica um, asked for close air support even nine times. And it was also promised to me. Uh, but nothing arrived till it was too late, and what arrived was much too little. And I found that behind this is an agreement uh, between uh, the uh, three governments of United Kingdom, France and United States uh, not to use airstrikes anymore. It, it reads literally to suspend the use of airstrikes uh, against the Bosnian Serb military because they thought it had counterproductive effects. However, uh, this was an agreement reached in uh, late May uh, that uh, is described in some uh, declassified archives from the United uh, States between President Jacques Chirac of France, Bill Clinton of the United States, Pr British Prime Minister John Major. But the main issue is that the Dutch government, you yourself, were not told about this secret agreement. Uh, indeed, I think, uh, as the Netherlands was the third troop uh, um, contributing country and was, um, had taken on the responsibility for the UN task in Srebrenica, the most vulnerable spot uh, in eastern Bosnia, uh, the three allies should have discussed uh, their intention to suspend the use of air power with the Netherlands government. Uh, we were kept in the dark.